Hello, welcome back to the channel. So I posted up my Desert Rats 8th Army in 10mm video the other day and I got asked a few questions about them and Blitzkrieg Commander. So what I thought I'd do is a wee overview of the rules of Blitzkrieg Commander and just answer a couple of questions about the Desert Rats and why I've done it. So Blitzkrieg Commander. 4th edition, let's have a bit of a read of the blurb off the back. Blitzkrieg Commander, exciting fast play set of war games rules that allow you to create battles of the Second World War using miniatures on a tabletop. Suitable for any scale, simple command system, etc. 44 army lists, 15 scenarios, suitable for solo, two player, multiplayer games. I believe the rules tick off everything off that box, so what do we get? So. You do get photographs throughout, uh, colour as well. Table of contents, now there is, if I believe correctly, no index. But as you can see, table of contents is pretty good. And if we look here, bum bum bum, all the way up, uh, up to page 81 is when the army lists start and go to 170 pages in total. So you've got about half the book of army lists. And the army list, as we'll see, was get later on is pretty, pretty um, substantial. So it covers everything. Game concepts talks about the ideas behind the games, kind of like almost like the designs of notes. Uh, unit values. I'll, I'll come back and explain some of these later on. Let's jump straight into terrain and how that affects the battlefield. And like I say, it's an attractive set of rules. Pre-game checklist, etc. Setting up scenarios. You've got rules for air superiority. That will affect how likely your aircraft support combat close close air support affects the game. Sequence of play. So well, when you get into it, units can operate by initiative. So depending on the tactical flexibility of your army depends on whether they can act automatically when the enemy is within range. The, key meat of the game is command and the command phase borrowed from war master and then the end phase so there you are, give you an idea of initiative phase so rigid if the enemy's within 15 centimeters you get uh, a fire or move or deploy um, normals 20 flexible 25 and gorillas are 30 so lots of nice clear examples throughout so the command phase so the basic idea behind the game of Blitzkrieg Commander, I'm going to pull some out, is you'll have your commander and he will give orders to groups of troops and you can order groups or individuals. Generally if the group's moving in the same direction you, you just issue one order. So in, in this case this commander is going to order these two units to move this way, we'd roll two dice and we're looking to get under his command rule, so generally eight with different modifiers applied. Once they've moved, he can order them again and again. Now, you might see if you come to a Blissfully Commander from Black Powder, instead of rolling once and that generates how many moves, you can keep issuing orders. Each time you issue an order, it's at minus one, and that's cumulative. Uh, but once they've moved, he might then decide to move this guy and then this guy. The other thing about orders is the further you are away from the commander, the harder they get. So not only... So first order is commander's next to you. That's an eight. Eight or less than two dice to obey. And then minus one if it's a second order and then you might be further away. And that is both to move and to fire as well. As you see there, the actions you can order them to do is move, deploy, or fire. Nice and simple. Uh, once you fail your command, that command stand can't issue any orders, and another commander can't issue any orders to them unless it's the army commander. So pretty simple, and bad things happen on a double six, good things happen on a double one. Double one, you get two actions. Double six, I think you you I think there's a what's it called a blunder. So you got rules for reconnaissance, 
So you do have a couple of options with reconnaissance. That is sort of scout out uh, pathfinding, which scouts out some terrain to make it easier for your troops to go through, or spot and conceal troops for scenarios. Uh, movement, dead simple. Once you're given the order, you move. Um, following the movement value, different terrain, as you've seen at the start, there's about three or four pages of rules for terrain, cost you different movement through it. Now firing. So firing. So first up, again, if you're familiar with black powder, so basic four, five or six to hit. If you're in cover, it's five or six, heavy cover, it's a six. You get modifiers if you're within half range or firing in the flank or rear aspect of the enemy unit. Then the, the unit will take saves. I think I've said before that Blitzkrieg Commander is taking some of the epic 40,000 and War Master and smushing them together. And with the War Master element is what uh, units have an anti-tank or an anti-personnel stat depending on what they're firing at. Now, if you equal the number of hits, you can knock out a unit. If you don't equal the number of hits, there is a chance to cause suppression on the unit. Basically, it makes it a bit like disorder. So, firing examples. Close assault. Again, charge in, roll some dice. You know, close assaults. With support as well, giving you extra dice. Pretty simple. Rules for us. Lots of different types of weapons, giving you real flavour for World War II. Artillery support. And that's looking at off-table artillery support. You do have on-table artillery support. Air support coming in, I said earlier, you set the set the scenario up and look at air support. Now we do have an audience for the battle. Uh, for the battle, for the battle report. Now he was watching me, and of course, as soon as I put the camera on, he's turned away. But anyway, back to the battle. Battle, keep going, battle. Looking at the book. They've got engineering, minefields. So, so far, I think we've seen everything I'd want World War II battle to have. So you've got command and control, you've got reconnaissance, you've got air support, you've got artillery support, you've got engineering options, and you've got the rules that go into detail. Now, when you're constructing your force, uh, it suggests and the uh, square bases and arcs of fire. Now, the scale of the battle is each base, that's a platoon, as you can see, instead of going squares, we've gone rounds. reason for that being is if, if we are looking at that level, I'm not worried about, I shouldn't, if we are looking at that level of battlefield, I'm not, as a commander, I'm, I'm not really worried about how my patrol commander, platoon commanders and company commanders are deploying the troops and be more big picture scale. So we've done round and we are giving infantry 360 degree line of sight as opposed to the front arcs vehicles etc still focusing on what they need to be with the orientation of the hull being the orientation of the stand same with artillery artillery we we follow the normal rules for line of sight for artillery with the orientation of the barrels being the orientation of the artillery but for infantry we want to do something that so the infantry platoons generally three squads two forward one in the back and it's relatively easy to redeploy them. The other thing you'll notice for Blitzkrieg Commander is command base is a massive, and if you've seen the other video, you'll have seen my, my Monty Army Commander compared to the infantry. And that is because the command base doesn't actually represent the command spot where the command is. It represents command network. And if it's overrun, the command network will come back. So we've got a load of scenarios there. Which is all pretty cool. Rules for airborne troops, reserves coming on. There's all oh, there's not about field defences. Coming on, blast through the scenario, we campaign system, theatre of operations. So I'm going to unit special abilities, which adds more flavour to the units. So let's jump on to a set of stat lines. So let's look at US Army. So what we'll see is first column is points value. 
how many, how much points a base of it costs. Type obviously breaks it down to the type definitions. MV, that's how many centimeters it can move. So if you look at those command networks, they can move quite far. Uh, if you look at infantry, so an infantry is moving about, it's all in centimeters, 10 centimeters. Then next two columns is AP and AT. So if we look at that infantry platoon, AP is, oh, so I'm looking, AP is four slash 30. So it's got 30 centimeter range and it's run, rolling four dice. CA is the next column, which is a dash. Actually, if we look at an infantry platoon, that, that's its anti-tank rating. So you need to upgrade the infantry to have a bazooka to have an anti-tank rating, three slash 10. CA is close combat, how many dice you roll in close combat. Hits is how many hits it can take, but remember it can get shocked and forced back through suppression. Uh, limit is how many you can have in your army. Save is, is the save modifier you'd get, so infantry is not getting saves. A lot of saves is for your armor. Limit is how many you can have and any special rules. So actually, really simple there. So that infantry platoon, if it was shooting at another infantry platoon and the, the other infantry platoons in some cover, I'm rolling four dice, I'm hitting on fives or sixes, and then I will take any saves as required. And finally, the army lists have got assets, off-table support. Now, if I did have, I both like these lists and find it a wee bit frustrating at times. I like the lists because they're really expansive. Okay, so for the American lists, fairly straightforward. List in Europe, Northwest Europe, you've got an airborne list. So, oh, the other thing is notes and abilities. It will say, if we look here, um, they go six slash forty four plus is available from forty four onwards, June forty four onwards, and it might be a negative, which comes in when we look at some of these lists. So let's look at the British British Army in Africa, North Africa. Basically has everything. So suddenly, if you look at the the recce option there, you've got a bit of planning and working around to see what you can throw into your lists. And same with the tanks there, you've got a ton of stuff there that you've got to sit down and work out. I think I might have preferred like an early list and a late list, and 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 just kept it at that. Because when you get to the armies of Germany. Imagine what the Eastern Front lists are going to look like. So I'll just speed on a bit there. Just to... Norway, Africa. There you go. So the German Eastern Front list has got one, two, three, four, and a bit pages. I'm just sifting the fruit. Like I say, maybe it's an early war and a late war list, and maybe even a mid-war mid list um, would have been good there. But it's certainly not a deal breaker. I mean, you know what? I can navigate the list. So as you can see, tons of army lists. And some notes at the back on unit types, etc. So there you go. Blitzkrieg Commander. Does it, does it do what it says on the tin? Suitable for any scale miniatures, 2 millimeters, right up to 28 millimeters. Probably wouldn't Wanting it in 28 millimeters, certainly 10 mil does the job, less than 10 mil, dead easy. 15 mil, where your flames of war army already been on, on square bases, etc. That just fits straight in. Simple command system emphasizes fog of war. Yeah, your command is either pass or fail the orders. Who knows what orders are going to go through, and you do have initiative for when the enemy comes close, so you're never going to have troops stood around doing nothing while the infantry's not enemies knocking at the door. Affect the mechanism for casualty resolution. Dead simple, was it? Roll to hit, roll to save, roll and sort out some suppression. Rules for infantry tanks, artillery, recce, aircraft, and engineers. Yeah, we looked at that. Flexible figure ratio, meaning one base represents a platoon. We've talked about that, and like I say, we've gone with round bases. We've done 40 mils for the infantry and 50 mils for command and tanks. My artillery is on 40s, and my recce is on 40s as well. 
Contains 44 amulets covering all nations and theatres. Uh, 15 scenarios suitable for any nation theatre. Scenarios include stuff like beach assaults and airborne assaults as well. Suitable for solo, two player, or multiplayer games. I think the suitable for solo players bang on, especially since you're going to be issuing orders. So I find solo play where you've got godlike control over your forces becomes a bit dull and, and predictable. Predictable. I do like the unpredictability that the War Master Black Powder given order, a simple role for it, gives. And everything you need to play in one book. Yep, certainly for World War II, everything is in there. And actually, you can see on the back of the list, army lists for the following. Yugoslavia, Spain, Slovakia. You know, there's some army lists there that never really get a look in. So that's Blissfree Commander and another look at my uh, 10 mil. Desert War Forces. I suppose the other thing I have is some some pre-painted buildings I got from Pendraken as well. Some a nice wee desert hamlet. It is just basic. And we've got some resin stuff ourselves from another manufacturer to, to paint up as well. Fortunately, it got a bit smashed up. Nothing we can't fix. But anyway, as things go on, I'm hoping to get some games in versus my regular opponent, Martin. I'll give you some actual battle reports. I do fancy picking up an Italian army to face off against my British for the desert, something a bit different. As well, that Martin has the Africa Coy for the desert. So, anyway, I hope you're having a great time wargaming at the moment, and I'll catch you again. Goodbye.